Now, here at Fox 4, we have been working since Hurricane Ian to bring you signs of recovery and hope as all of Southwest Florida rebuilds. And one longtime well known artist lost her gallery on Matt Lachey when Hurricane Ian devastated the island. And for the first time this week, people can go and buy some of her artwork. But there's a little bit of a twist, Chris. There is. Let's bring in Fox 4's Amy Wegman. She is live at Love Grove Gallery. And Amy, where you are now is just a temporary setup. Yeah, absolutely, Chris. This is just temporary. It's easy to see Ian's mark here at Love Grove Gallery and Gardens. I mean, the walls are down to the studs. Uh, our photographer, Travis, set up some lights, but there's no electricity here. At one point during the storm, you can see this pencil mark right here on the uh, on the wood. That is where the waters came during Hurricane Ian. So you can imagine the damage. I want to actually show you some pictures that Leoma Lovegrove, the artist that owns Lovegrove Gallery, uh, shared with me to show you what she came back to after uh, Ian hit in September. We know Matt Lachey obviously had major damage and destruction. I mean, the bridge that gets you onto Matt Lachey was completely destroyed. So you can see uh, her belongings just thrown everywhere. You can see mud and muck just super thick all over the floors. A lot of her artwork that was hanging in the gallery obviously got wet. Uh, so the building was destroyed. If you want to come back out here live, you can see just to be able to let people come out and buy some of her artwork until uh, the middle of April, they've kind of done a little bit of repair, put some wood planks on the floor where there were holes. She hung, this was outside in her garden. Uh, she hung this lattice, if you will, all over the gallery so she can hang art. And Leoma, I want to bring you in because um, obviously you're creating beautiful art using some of the debris and destruction. So these are like shingles from your roof. Yep. You drew inspiration from something that was really difficult to go through. And I know it must be so hard to, to walk into this building after going through all that. Kind of, kind of walk me through what you feel when you drive over the bridge every day. Well, driving over the bridge, that's key. From the minute, well, even before you get to the bridge, you know, all my friends, you know, Bert's Bar and all my friends that live across the street, that's all gone. And it's, it's just really hard uh, to come over the bridge, but uh, you know, they say everybody's, you know, get stronger. And, and I wanted to come back because I wanted to come back and be with my peeps, yeah. you know. So we opened up just for, you know, a few, two or three weeks. And uh, the shingles, when I started painting them, I put a heart on every single one. And we're uh, presenting them, you know, to the businesses here that have opened up because I, I just want it to be like a feel good. And then on the back, it's kind of interesting. I have um, a his, the history of Mount Lachey of everything that the shingle has actually seen in 25 years. Yeah, because 25 years. You've been here for yeah. 25 years, so this had to be hard. So what's next for you? Because you're not staying here. The building is for sale, and I know so many people, not only in Southwest Florida but across the country and the world, adore you. You're staying in Southwest Florida, so I am. where I am. can people go find you? Uh, we're going to go downtown Fort Myers, and we're real excited about that. And at this time in my life, I need to be painting, or we would stay here, but I need to be painting. I'm working on museum projects, but. I'm going uh, downtown Fort Myers, you know, thrilled to be down there, and they are so welcoming. They're our neighbors, yeah. you know, so I feel like I'm not really abandoning. I'm just kind of going next door. Well, you know? and you still have your house. I know you My lost house your house. My house is here, yeah. and, um, and we lost the house, but I'm working with the county, and I'm trying to establish, like, a home studio because, uh, you know, I, I draw inspiration not only from the water, and this island but from the people that I have been here with for 25 years. Yeah, we just, your artwork's amazing. Uh, again, so if you wanna come and and check out Love Grove Gallery and see it, you know, after Ian, it's something to see, especially if you've patronized Liam and Love Grove's gallery and her business before, um, maybe say a goodbye, you know? And coming up on Fox 4 Morning News at 10, she's not only working, uh, you know, and using inspiration from Ian, to kind of heal herself, if you will, but she's also working with other local organizations to draw attention to other parts of the area that were devastated during the storm. So I'm gonna tell you all about that coming up on Fox 4 Morning News at 10. For now, live on Matt Lachey, Amy Wegman, Fox 4.